Hello, wise women. Judy Bradley here. Karen Rear is behind the scenes today. So she's given me full reign to be in control of today's show. So thank you, Karen. <laughs> I am here with Cindy Pedersen. With Mary Kay Cosmetics and the membership director for Wise Women. And we are so glad that you have been with us from day one. You have just been such an amazing part of Wise. And we're just grateful to have you. It's been really exciting, and wait until 2015. Yes, yes, we have a lot of really fun things in store for you. And we want to address the topic today of entrepreneurship. So we've had a couple of people say, what if I'm not an entrepreneur? Or somebody told me I wasn't an entrepreneur. And what is women inspiring successful entrepreneurs? What does that have to do with me? And why should I come? So we want to talk about that just a little bit today. And do you have any kind of information or any kind of definition in your mind of what an entrepreneur is? Well, absolutely, Judy. You know, women are wondering about the wise group. And what if I don't own my own business? What if I work for a mortgage company? Or what if I work at a bank? Or what if I work at an espresso stand? What exactly is an entrepreneur? And does wise women fit me? And we found this definition of entrepreneur that I think fits all of us. It says, an entrepreneur is commonly seen as a business leader and innovator of new ideas and business processes. So think about how that fits you. You know, I work in direct sales and a lot of times people say, well, do you really own your own business? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Direct sales Absolutely. is definitely an entrepreneurial business. You know, and I, I agree with you so much on that. And I also think that entrepreneurship is a mindset. Um, it's really about taking ownership in whatever it is that you do. Um, again, as Cindy said, whether you work for a corporation, um, you have a boss that you report to, or if you work for yourself, it's really a mindset of ownership of what you do. And uh, we could go on and on and on about stories of taking the leap into entrepreneurship or having to take a step back and going back to work and yet you still feel like you've got something inside of you that you want to do. And I know I can relate to that a lot because I've had to go that course. And um, I still feel like I'm an entrepreneur even though I'm working for somebody else because I still have dreams and desires that I want to attain. And so I think as... Um, as the year goes on in 2015, we'll talk more and more about entrepreneurship, but we just really want to encourage all of you out there that WISE is for any woman um, in business as a professional or as, as an owner or working for somebody else. So we, it's just important to have all of you together and, and the synergy and the energy that goes along with that. I agree, and I think it's really more, as Judy said, about a mindset because we really as women, don't you often think you're kind of the entrepreneur, leader, business runner of your home, aren't you? We do all the same things in our homes that we do in our careers, in our businesses, whether we're working for ourselves or for someone else. And you know what, Wise Women, we're looking for anyone who hopes to make a difference in their community. However they choose to do that, we're looking at personal development. We're hoping to help you along that path to achieve what your goal is. And you know, you don't have to have your own business right now to join us. It's not like you come to a Wise Women uh, networking group. We're not a networking We're group. We're not a networking group. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, even know where that came from, darn it. <laughs> But we really are looking at personal development, and so you need that in any phase of your life. So we hope that you will come and join us. We're not going to encourage you to quit your job and start a business, but if that is what your dream is, you have come to the right place when you join us. Well, and as you can see, we do things imperfectly. So it's for even if even if you make a little little mistake, you just you just move forward. You just go right through it. So um, we are so excited for the next year. One of the things we're most excited about is our second annual Wise Women Business Showcase, set for January 14th at the Medallion in Smoky Point. We are looking at having about 40 different businesses represented. We do still have room at, as a, a woman in business, whether you work for. Some someone else or whether you have your own business, uh, we have a table available for you for pricing and information. You can uh, reach out to us at info 
at areyouawisewoman.com and we'd be happy to provide you more information for that if you just want to attend and see all the amazing women around this area and also partake in a couple of great breakout sessions whether you're a woman in business or um, just looking for a little bit of motivation and encouragement. We have a couple of really great breakout sessions that are included in the ticket price. Ticket prices will be $15 at the door and we're going to have fabulous swag bags. Oh, they're going to be wonderful. Yes, it'll be fun. And then all kinds of just great, great women to um, connect with. And um, again, that's January 14th. And we won't be having a wise women mastermind meeting in January because of our showcase. So for those of you who are used to seeing us the first Wednesday of every month, keep in mind we are not meeting on that date. We are meeting at the medallion for the showcase on January 14th. And that's from 3 to 7 p.m. And um, again, reach out to us at info at areyouawisewoman.com for more information. And a great opportunity. Remember, Wise Women is all about empowering women. We are a women's empowerment group. Please join us. Thank you. Bye. Merry Christmas.